Hello and welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDelhi.com, the only portal for global Indians. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab, and Gujarat in English, Punjabi, and Gujarati languages. And our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I'm Annie Sheikh, and today's headlines are. In India, Indian pilot Bhavya Suneja has died along with 189 passengers in the Lion Air plane mishap and the army has targeted the Park Military Administrative Headquarters in Pakistan, occupied Kashmir. In Punjab, the Punjab Women Commission has announced guidelines for the safety of women at workplace and PM Narendra Modi has hailed farmers who are not burning stubble. In Canada, a Toronto native has been killed in the Pittsburgh attack and the NDP has slammed PM Trudeau for not calling a by-election in Burnaby South. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. For detailed news and businesses updates of the Indo-Canadian community, download the Indian Times Daily app. Have you been denied long-term disability benefits or have your benefits been terminated? If your claim for disability benefits is denied, you should be given a reason. Insurance companies have an internal appeal process. However, it is difficult to alter their decision using this internal process. Therefore, we recommend retaining a lawyer immediately after your claim is terminated or denied. Call an experienced long-term disability claims lawyer at Kotak Personal Injury Law. We will fight for your right to receive the benefits you deserve. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Bhavya Suneja, the captain of the Indonesian plane that crashed soon after taking off from Jakarta, has been killed in the accident. The brand new aircraft on a 70-minute flight to Panghal Penang on an island chain off Sumatra was carrying 189 passengers including one child and two babies and eight crew members. The Indian Army targeted the Pakistani military administrative headquarters across the LOC. This is in retaliation to the recent shelling in Poonch and Jalas. The Pakistani Army has shelled the brigade headquarters and other Indian military formations in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch on October 23rd. Union Minister for Women and Child Development Menka Gandhi has asked the National Commission for Women to set up dedicated cell for cases relating to women abandoned by NRI husbands. The dedicated cell will work on each of the cases and monitor them on a real-time basis. PM Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe have called on Pakistan to justice the perpetrators of the Mumbai and Patanko terror attacks. The two leaders strongly condemned the growing threat of terrorism and its universal reach during their formal summit in Tokyo. The Delhi High Court has ordered the CBI to maintain status quo on the proceedings against its special director Rakesh Asthana, who was sent on leave by the government till November 1st. The CBI has formed a new team to investigate the allegations of corruption against Asthana. The Army Chief's Office has sent out instructions on how guest rooms will be allotted and simplified the procedure for booking. This is after it faced flake over officers getting improper Army-owned guest rooms in lieu of hotel rooms. A three-judge bench led by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi has ordered the Ayodhya land dispute case to be listed before an appropriate bench in the first week of January for fixing the date of hearing. The CJI said that the case could be heard in January, February, March or April. Tata Sons, the holding company of the Tata Group, has decided to terminate its contract with consultant Suhail Seth in the wake of the hashtag MeToo controversy. Seth was instrumental in building the company after a management crisis arose within the group in 2016. He has been accused of sexual misconduct. India dished out a clinical performance to outclass the West Indies by 224 runs, the biggest margin of victory against the Caribbean side. This is in the fourth ODI on their return to Barbon Stadium on Monday. Actress Malaika Arora has opened up about the hashtag MeToo movement that has kicked up a storm all across the country and said that she feels that the movement is just noise and nothing else. She says that nothing has changed in the industry despite several people being called out for their misdeeds. Stay tuned to Indian Times Delhi as the news from Punjab and Canada follows. Realize your ambition of becoming a doctor at All Saints University School of Medicine with small class sizes, affordable tuition and worldwide clinical clerkships. All Saints University brings a world of opportunity right to your feet. University and high school graduates are eligible for admission. To learn more, call us at 416-743-9222 or visit us at www.allsaintsuniversity.org. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are 
Supporting the hashtag MeToo movement, the Punjab State Women Commission has issued guidelines regarding the safety of women at workplaces. The commission will frame a policy for the entire staff, administrators and elected officials so that no one can harass any woman in the future at workplaces. PM Narendra Modi has hailed state farmers who do not burn stubble in fields and help save the environment. Ironically, the statement came on a day that Delhi recorded its worst air quality of the season. SED Sudbir Singh Badal has announced that he is ready to step down as president if the party demands. However, dissented SED leaders call the decision belated. Several party leaders had earlier expressed concerns over Sudbir's leadership. A team of the state cabinet led by Health Minister Brahman Mohindra visited hospitals in Amritsar to inquire about persons injured in the recent train tragedy. The committee also gave checks for Rs 50,000 each to 38 injured persons. A 15-year-old Sikh girl has been allegedly raped by two persons in an ambulance in Pakistan, Punjab province. The girl had gone missing a day before from the Gurudwara in Nanakana Sahib city, around 80 kilometers from Lahore. Resentment is brewing among senior Congress leaders who are awaiting political appointments. Thirteen former bureaucrats, including two who has retired long ago, have been adjusted in CM Amrinder Singh's government over the last 19 months. Just after state government made a dope test mandatory for arms license applicants, the number of new license applicants has decreased sharply. Hardly anyone has been issued new arms license in about two months in Muksa district. The Small and Medium Enterprise Pharma Industries Confederation is irked over the alleged attempts by the centre to gain control over the grant of licences to drug manufacturers. It has sought the intervention of PM Narendra Modi. The State Education Department has established libraries in all 3,600 schools across the state. However, the department has failed to allocate specific periods for students willing to go to the library and read books there. This has been going on for the last three decades. Singer Mika Singh and Dilair Mehendi's elder brother Amarjeet Singh has died in New Delhi. The cremation took place at the Tilak Pihar Cremation Ground. I'll be back, stay logged on to the Indian Times Daily.com as the news from Canada follows. Immigration Terminal, the specialist for visitor visa, student visa, business immigration, family sponsorship, work permits, PNP programs, living caregivers and LMIA applications. Highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases. Call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC. Email us at info at immigrationterminal.ca. Immigration Terminal, right consultants, right future. Welcome back to IndianTimesCity.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are Joyce Finberg, a Toronto native who still has a family here, is one of the 11 people who died at the Tree of Life synagogue in Pittsburgh, US. Wiggles and rallies were organized in a number of Canadian cities to commemorate the victims of the deadly shooting. The NDP has slammed PM Justin Trudeau for not calling a by-election for a BC riding of Burnaby South where NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has been named a candidate. Federal by-elections were announced for the Ontario riding of Leeds, Greenville, Thousand Islands and Ridio Lakes. Manitoba became the latest province to be hit by rotating strikes by members of the Canadian Union of Postal Workers. The union, which has more than 50,000 members, is pushing for improved job security and end to forced overtime and better health and safety measures. Finance Minister Bill Morneau has said that Canada can stand a recession despite the deficit in the federal books. Morneau defended the current federal debt to GDP ratio of 30.4% after a week that saw the Toronto Stock Exchange post its largest fall in the three years. A number of public transportation services are starting to fill the gap as Greyhound Canada moves steadily towards its midnight Halloween disappearance from Western Canada. A mix of provincial government subsidized services and indigenous owned bus lines are running in the region. A major newspaper has removed an opinion piece that urged readers to consider both sides of the vaccine debate from its website after the column was subject of widespread backlash. Medical professions pointed out inaccuracies in the column authored by Dr. Ken Walker. Canada's main stock index rebounded on Monday from a steep sell off last week after global markets rose partly due to relief over an unchanged credit rating on Italy. The TSX fell 3.7% in the previous week as the Bank of Canada raised its benchmark interest rates. Prosecutors have sought for a psychological assessment of alleged Federation gunman Matthew Raymond to determine if he's able to stand trial. Raymond is charged for the murders of two police officers and two civilians in August. A small Bitcoin exchange based in Alberta has gone offline saying that no more funds were available to pay anyone back. Maple Chain said that a bug had enabled some people to withdraw all of the funds on the exchange. 
Morgan Stanley Strategies have warned global investors that Canada along with Australia is at risk of a major slowdown caused by household debt. In case of Canada, the risks come from a combination of falling house prices, rising interest rates and weaker credit growth. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Scans accounting. A team of highly professional accountants, we deliver quality and immeasurable assistance to our clients. For Canada audit assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at 416-741-0801 or visit us at scansaccountants.com. The Vogue Woman of the Year Awards 2018 was a star-studded event with celebrities dressed to the nines, bringing their best A-game forward. Check out these who's who of Bollywood at the event. Rana Dagubati, Rahul Bose, Sondara Sharma, Karan Johar, Kanika Kapoor, Kiara Ardwani, Meghna Gulzar, Moni Roy, Kunal Kapoor, Nishad Barucha, Priya Chakraborty, Rakul Preet Singh, Ilyana De Cruz, John Kapoor, Ishan Khattar, Karishma Kapoor, Kartik Aram, Apar Shakti Khurana, Radhika Aapte, Preeti Zinta, Aishman Khurana, Karina Kapoor Khan, Fatima Sana Sheikh, Mandira Bedi, Alia Bhatt, Mahesh Bhatt, Monica Dogra, Shivani Dandekar, Jatin Fernandez, among many others, graced the red carpet. Indeed, the B-Town beauties rocked their appearance. Make your choice who was the worst and best dressed for the occasion. Veteran devotional singer Anoop Jalota, the latest to be evicted out of reality television show Big Boss Season 12, says Jasleen is not his girlfriend. Jalota participated in the show with 28-year-old Jasleen, who has been touted as his girlfriend. People are not able to understand our relationship. We don't have any kind of love story. We just share a musical relationship. She is my student and I am her teacher. I help her in learning music. There is no girlfriend-boyfriend kind of relationship between us and we are also not involved in any romantic and physical relationship. The Bhajan Samrat told IANS. He said Jasleen's father was his old friend. I know Jasleen and his family for a long time. A lot of times I have met them at the airport and at their home. But Jasleen and I hardly get time to meet each other. She hasn't even met my family members yet. Despite having huge popularity, the 65-year-old singer's journey in Big Boss lasted only for a month. He finds his self-conscious nature as one of the main reasons for being evicted. Priyanka Chopra's friends and family hosted a bridal shower for the Bollywood actress ahead of a wedding with pop singer Nick Jonas. Held on Sunday night, Priyanka looked ravishing in an ivory Marchesa dress paired with nude-coloured stilettos and a Tiffany & Co. choker. She was seen standing next to silver-coloured balloons which read Bride. The photograph was shared by Mimi Cottrell, who styled Priyanka for the bridal shower and captioned it, The brighter version for everyone, Priyanka Chopra. Sorry I was too excited when I posted the first picture. The actress shared a photograph of herself on her Instagram stories while getting her hair and makeup for the celebration. She captioned it, My girls are in town, pre-wedding celebrations. Priyanka and Nick are reportedly getting married at Rajasthan's Meherangarh Fort in December. The two got engaged in August in a traditional roka ceremony at her residence in Mumbai. Sunny Deol and Sakshi Tanwar star Mohalla Asse, which received a sensor certificate after a battle that lasted almost two years, will finally hit the screens on November 16. The Chandra Prakash Devedi directorial, based on Kashi Nath Singh's book Kashi Ka Asse, that dissects the political charge events of 1990 and 1998, including the Ram Janam Bhumi issue and the implementation of the Mandal Commission was cleared with an A certificate earlier in September. Delay of the release began when the application for certification of the film was submitted to the Central Board of Film Certification in March 2016. Sharing the trailer, Z Music had earlier tweeted, Ab Rachega Mohalla Asi Ka Naya Itihas. Presented by Crossword Entertainment in association with Wisdom Tree Productions, 
द फिल्म हैज एन एंसेंबल कास्ट विद रवि किशन सौरभ शुक्ला मुकेश तिवारी एंड राजेंद्र गुप्ता अमंग अदर्स Actress Alia Bhatt who received the Youth Icon of the Year honor at the gala in Mumbai from her father for the very first time said he was best suited for the title Alia and a slew of Bollywood's who's who were at the Vogue Women of the Year event filmmaker Karan Johar was the host for the Star Studded Night read a statement on receiving the award the student of the year actress said this is the first time my father is presenting an award to me what's more special tonight is the fact that my father is standing right next to me way past his bedtime let me tell you that he sleeps at 9 pm and wakes up at 5 am and goes and does pilates and cardio i don't think that i'm the youth icon of the year my father is the youth icon of the year alia will soon be directed by her father for the very first time in sadak 2 which also features her step sister pooja bhat and she is looking forward to the experience genuinely i can't wait to be directed by you and can't wait to be on the set with you papa because the kind of energy that you have i have to calm you down sometimes so if there is any quality within me which is i can like it's all thanks to my father my mother and my other father karan said the actress from the field of entertainment the actress karina kapoor khan backed the vogue and iwc style icon of the year award radhika apte was the vogue trends disruptor of the year while vicky kaushal was awarded the vogue x trends disruptor of the year in male category